So this week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a video and I'm going to cover every single thing we know about Maze in Ashes of Creation and how they're going to play quite a significant role when it comes to most of the content in the game. I'm not going to ramble on because there's a fair bit of information, so I'm just going to jump in all that now and get amongst everything we know so far. So let's start with the basics. Mayors are going to be the leaders of nodes, as most of you probably already know, but how do you become a mayor? So the first step is to be a citizen of a node of which you want to be a mayor, and then it depends on which specific type of node you are a citizen of. In divine nodes, mayors are elected by being a citizen who has earned the most PvE favour with the node via devotion-oriented tasks. The tasks to gain this favour are going to be focused on an individual basis and potentially having a guild you can definitely get benefited from this even though they're saying contrary to that but as it stands you can't fully choose it so I do think that's a nice little balance there and it is a semi decent thing but I would also go in there with your eyes open and don't just think oh because I'm a solo anyone can do this I just don't have the faith that it will turn out that way but I just don't think it's going to be as solo as it's made out but that is how you become mayor of a divine node. Now when it comes to economic nodes players will join a blind bid auction and the winner will be the person who bids the most so pretty much who's got the most money and yet again not to be on the negative I'm just always going to be real and factual with my videos if you're part of a guild or you're part of a bigger group or community you can be shuttled with the coin and you're probably going to be able to get the mayor. I just don't believe five or ten people are ever going to be able to compete with about 200 people can you really compete against 200 odd people no you can't and if you do want to be mayor and you're part of a smaller guild really go in understanding how grand these things are going to be and how difficult it could be so you don't let yourself down thinking any single person in the game will be a mayor it is going to be a difficult thing to do i do think it's necessary that the right people get in power or the nodes will not be run correctly and inevitably that would have quite a huge knock on effect with most of the content in the game so in military nodes players will get involved Involved by a trial by combat. The process is going to take a full week if not more and during this there's going to be open PvP battlegrounds that last up to an hour or they're going to be an hour long period where you will need to secure objectives in order to gain points and at the end of the week whoever has the most points will become the mayor and then you have academic nodes which have the simpler system and that is via election through rank choice vote. Only node citizens will be able to avoid vote in these which kind of balances it out and makes it fair i do think this is a good start i don't know if it's always going to be the best way in my honest opinion not to sound negative because i know i've had a couple of little things pops at the way it works i do believe many of these things can be cheesed but due to alpha 2 i reckon they're going to be tested and tweaked and and we're going to show how you can break these and how you can manipulate the systems but i suppose that's always going to be the way with systems like this and interpret of a very difficult job of balancing these things out but currently that is the way the node system works for each one and how you become a mirror of them breaking it down in a smaller version of information ever that that's kind of the grand scheme of it all mayors are going to be able to control several other things including mayoral caravans mayoral commissions they also have by orders node policy node taxes and node politics if you want to know more about mayoral caravans or mayoral commissions i've already done a video in which you kind of get into both of these you'll find them linked in the description in the video a lot more information in them some really good details and a lot of facts that we know but i can't cover it in this video because they're just you know ashes is such a vast game it would take way too long but do check them out if you're getting ready for alpha 2 or you just want to know how it works as, as it stands that's what it is so when it comes to node taxes this includes amenities tax artisanship tax commerce tax property tax now property tax will scale based on the node stage and if it's a freehold the number of the building permits for that freehold Another good thing is that node taxes cannot be accessed by the mayor apart from to advance the node. They'll also gain mayoral leadership powers which we're going to jump in there in a little bit but to go back to that original taxes point this is one thing I like because you will get multiple people if it was
doesn't like this, that potentially have a guild, try and farm as much taxis as they can, then they basically shuttle the taxis into the guild and their leaders, and then they just fuck off and all that effort you've worked for is totally pointless. I think it's really nice that Steven's done that. If they didn't do it, I think he'd be very fucking stupid, and it would just be the same repetitive shit we've seen in other games, and a lot more corruption. So, getting into mayoral powers. So, for the mayor to be able to use their leadership powers, they are first going to have to get mandates. Now, mandates are an energy system for a mayor to limit how much they can or can't do. And to gain mandates as a mayor, mayors must get citizens of the node to take part in activities and events. And the events are such as things like we've spoke about, mayoral commissions, mayoral caravans, node wards, node sieges, policy votes, and construction of node buildings. Not everything the mayor does will need mandates, obviously. They're going to be more in place to stop mayors from griefing the node, just like I've spoke about previously. You need some restriction on mayors, you need some control over people, or it would just be a shit show. So you want to give freedom in a game, and you know, we have a lot of it Nashes, but you do need to limit it to a certain degree, or that freedom becomes chaos, chaos becomes stressful and toxic to the point of uncontrollable, and then like the fun's just gone, because you're just going to get some absolute dickhead that decides they just want to be malicious, or some Zerg guild, and they're just going to be malicious and kind of ruin everyone's experience and there's a reason we have the pvp systems in place and the node teachers and caravans to fight to let skill talk and not you know pure toxicity um i do think this is good and i do understand why steven is doing it and he has an experience and a background in some of these type of games but this is the best we have now and i, I do think it's a nice start for alpha 2 testing phase and going forward to the launch of the game so currently these are what we know the mayors will be able to do once they do get power so they're gonna be able to initiate by orders now to initiate the by orders they're gonna use the gold from the node treasury obviously from taxes from the people and the citizens playing within that node so they're also gonna start mayoral commissions and this is gonna help develop the node and as we saw in the May live stream this is how you start node wards they're also going to be able to change the tax, which helps growing the amount they actually have in the node treasury to use. They're going to be able to improve and build service buildings. Some of these buildings include like smithies, laboratories, wood shop. They're also going to be able to improve the defensive structures around the nodes. These include the walls, the gates, the traps, siege equipment, hiring mercenary NPCs. I mean, this is going to be a vital one for all nodes. And if you do get a mayor that doesn't focus on this, well, guess what? You are not going to have that node long. And when it's each hit if they focused on all the wrong things you're fucked so it's definitely going to be a learning curve of many months if not years to run a node properly and if you're not under the right guilds and alliances running a node you're really not going to have a very good time and i do see this being quite funny but also quite annoying at times and um yeah we're gonna to have to see how that plays out but i do think there's going to be a lot of content there um long term Start and vote on node policies, that's another good thing. Setting up trade agreements and alliances with other nodes. Declare war on other nodes. Now, mayors will also be notified when their node is named on a siege scroll and will have special abilities during a siege war. So obviously if someone declares war, they're gonna know. They'll probably have to tell the rest of the citizens or we'll kinda know that's coming from some in-game system. But then during the war, like we've seen in the video, Stephen using his mayoral powers, giving buffs to the people in the area, that's what have and i think it's quite nice but the there is a balance there if you didn't see the stream um it's not too overpowered but it is necessary in my honest opinion to to give that bit of extra control and some different and unique and it, it, i think it's it's not too bad be able to create an emblem for their node flag and set a message of the day for the node choose a name for the node from a set of list of node names which i imagine they'll advance on down the line and the reason they've done that obviously is to avoid toxicity and have really fucking up names um, and we just know how that would go so yeah it kind of makes sense some limitations there is what is needed do bear in mind some of the powers and responsibilities will be limited to specific node types biomes and predominant races and stages of that now if your mayor does go inactive or there's issues like that there's so many different factors to deal with that and it is kind of all covered but if the mayor also doesn't make decisions within a set period the system of the node that they've got work and it'll just decide them for them. So that is everything we know about Meorial Ship or basically being a mayor. Now there is going to be more information coming during Alpha 2. We're really close now. Now there is going to be more information coming during Alpha 2. So I would definitely
definitely stick with that and see how it develops. I'll update as we know more and how things change and consistently keep it updated. I don't mind the way it's starting off. I think it's fairly decent. Yes, some systems can be cheesed, but nothing's going to be perfect. I mean, this is just the way it is and we're going to have to test it and find out how these things go. Let me know what you guys think of these systems. Do you think there's anything that can add or change? If you could hit that subscribe button, that really does help the channel grow. I do want to definitely expand out on that. I will also be doing some live streams during an alpha 2 drop a like drop a comment in the comment section below give the video a share and as always i really do appreciate you watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one cheers